Hi, this is Anandita Patnaik. Today we are here to talk with Mr. Ramendra Kumar, sir. Mr. Ramendra Kumar, a writer by passion, has 30 books to his name. His works have been translated and published in 12 Indian and 10 foreign languages. His stories have found a place in textbooks. His first book of non-fiction, Effective Parenting, A New Paradigm, went into its second reprint in the very first month of its publication. Welcome, sir. What is the pillar of caring according to you? Uh, this is something extremely uh, sensitive, you know. How did I get this uh, thought? A year ago, uh, my, uh, my Madhvi rang me up saying that uh, we have to rush to the sector. I said, what happened? I said, uh, Mr. Uh, Nayak's daughter has committed suicide. So I was really shocked because we knew the family reasonably well and she was a very bright child. And then later we came to know that uh, she was a class 10 student and she had been topping uh, almost in every class. Then in one particular exam, she got a few marks less in mathematics. So her rank slipped from first to fourth and she committed suicide. Now, tell me, who is responsible for this? Is it the child? Is it the parents? Or is it the society? I wouldn't blame the children entirely. I sometimes feel that the parents are getting too aspirational. They want to, uh, you know, fulfill their unfulfilled desires through their child. Suppose I could not become an IAS officer. So I would like my son to become an IAS officer. And I would do anything, absolutely anything to make sure that he becomes an IS officer. I wanted to become a doctor. I couldn't. So I would like my daughter to be a doctor. They want to bear, uh, wear the badge of the child's accomplishment on their chest. And, you know, find a kind of surrogate happiness or a sense of surrogate accomplishment. Is it right? How much of pressure we are putting on the child? After all, what do you want the child to be? I ask a parent. Do you want the child to be a great achiever, an ICE officer, a doctor, an engineer? Or you want the child to be happy? According to me, the goal of every parent should be to see that the child is happy. And a child can never be happy if he's pushed, if he's forced to do something he doesn't like. I'll give the example from my own house again. My daughter Ankita. She got 97% in science and 93% overall. So everybody in the house, you know, we are a family of doctors and engineers. Everybody in the house said that she should take up engineering or medical. So I asked her, Ankita, what do you want to take up? So she said, math gives me migraine and uh, science makes me want to puke. So I said, what do you want to do? So she said, I want to do arts. Now there was a huge World War III at home, you know that you are um, spoiling the child and uh, y you want to do literature, so you want her to do literature and all. I said, no, she does, she's not interested in maths or science. So why can't she do what she wants to do? He said, no, no, then uh, one of my relatives came up with the most sublime idea that for two years, let her do maths or science, then she can do whatever she wants. So then I told my relative, that 730 days of your life, of Ankita's life, you want to smudge and smother and smash only because of, your, of you having an idea that it is good for her. I will not allow it. Normally, I'm a very shy kind of person in the house, but I don't know where I got that strength. Possibly that intense love for Ankita gave me the strength and I told nothing doing, she's going to do arts. She took up arts and then she topped the state of Odisha. And then everybody told me that, oh, we knew that she's very intelligent and she would definitely top and all. But jokes apart, what should a parent do in today's circumstances? I believe that if a child is enjoying something, he will excel in it. And in case of Ankita, I proved it and I proved it before Baba Ranchor Das gave this theory in Three Idiots. I have my book to prove it. But jokes apart again. If a child is passionate about something, you you heard of EQ, Anandita, what is EQ? Emotional quotient? Yeah. IQ? Yeah. I talk about PQ, is passion quotient. 
if a child is passionate about something, she'll enjoy it. And if she's enjoying it, she'll excel. So please don't force the child. Then second thing, you heard of the big C? Big C. Big C is cancer. I'll talk about another big C and that is comparison. We ruin our child's present and future by comparing. I have seen scores and scores of parents comparing their child with their own past. I never had an AC. I never had a cooler. I used to walk three kilometers in the sun. I didn't have a car to drop me. And yet I used to come first in the class. And look at you. You've got everything. Look at Gopal. He comes from such a poor background. He's stopping the class. And you, you're coming 21st in the class. What will I tell Sweetie Chadha or Pinky Malhotra? Everywhere these comparisons are there. And what are they doing to the child? They are making the child feel less of a human being. Every child is a beautiful creation of God. She might not get 100 in maths or 99 in science, but that doesn't make her less of a creation, less of a beautiful creation of God. So why this comparisons? So in this pillar of caring, I beseech, I implore, I cajole, I coax, I pray, I make a plea to the parents, don't treat your child like a performing animal. As like in the circus or something. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so it was really nice talking to you about parenting and I hope everyone learned something from your book, from this interview as well. And it was a great experience, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.